Oh, are we on the air? Hey gang, this is Brian Mitchell from FX Billiards. Today we are going to start episode one of what is going to be an ongoing series with FX Billiards. Today we're going to look at a clip from the 2016 World Nine Ball Championship between Albin Ocean and Shane Van Boning. This is going to be a run out by Shane that we're going to be able to pick out five individual lessons within that run out that should help you with your game going forward. Lesson one actually starts before the break when we look at the lag. I, I did a video where I talked about how to win the lag and one of the things that I brought up was you should always play the lag off the short rail. So you're not just trying to go down table and come as close as you can to the rail, but you're trying to touch that rail. This in effect gives you two opportunities to win the lag. So we're gonna pick up the action in the second game. Albin is forced to play a safety here while he's actually trying to kick at that one ball. And he's gonna to manage to hit it. And then Shane is gonna be left with this table. We're gonna freeze right here and take a look at it. Shane is gonna to come to the table with this layout. Now, he can make that one ball. It is a makeable shot. And I can tell you with great confidence that there are a lot of amateur players that would take a crack at this ball. But if you're not going to run out, do not take these wild, difficult shots. And he's not going to run out from there, most likely. If you don't have a legitimate shot of running out or making the nine ball, don't force it. Let the other player break up the clusters for you. Let the other player make a mistake. It's okay to play a safety even when you have the possibility of making a ball. Let's look at Shane's safety here. He is going to separate these balls and move behind the nine and the three. So anytime you can play a good safety where you're separating the balls, you're halfway there, but if you can get behind other balls, obviously you're going to have a benefit. When you are in a situation where you're going to be playing a safety, try to do both things. Separate the balls and also try to get behind other balls. Albin is in a situation right now where he can't see a route to get to the one ball. So what he's going to do is try to cluster Shane up by bringing the nine up against the three ball. If you know for a fact that you're gonna be giving ball in hand, the best you can do is try to create a cluster so that your opponent is not gonna run out once they receive that ball in hand. So here Shane is examining the three and the nine cluster and realizes that the three ball will go. So let's pause here. With this layout, Shane only has one problem shot, and that is getting from the two to the three. So notice the angle he left himself on the two ball. This allows him to shoot a nice little draw shot to get across table to play that three. And also notice he had zero chance of scratching in the side pocket here because the four ball blocks the route that would lead to that side pocket. So even if he underplayed the shot, he would still be okay. From here, there's really just a series of stun shots, slight follow shots. The pattern is already laid out for him. The shot from the three to the four is pretty simple. Even if you overshoot it, you're moving in line with the shot. And then he's gonna shoot a little bit of stun that's gonna leave him shots on the six and the seven. So he's really out just by making a good shot on that three ball. The rest of the pattern, a lot of intermediate players can pull off, at least high intermediate players. I gave a variation of this run out to many of my online students to work out. And with the exception of players that could not get from the two to the three, everyone was able to run them out. Once you got to the three ball, the run out becomes a lot simpler. I even made the run out a little bit more difficult by putting the five ball in the mix. Uh, you didn't see it in the video, but the five ball was actually made on the break. So here's how I ran them out, given almost the exact situation. We wanted this to be a nine ball run, so I actually added the five ball you can see 
uh, from the diagram. My pattern is going to be a little bit different. Uh, Shane was on a nine foot table. I'm on an eight foot table. I added a ball. With the five ball being in play, it's going to change the pattern that you can run out. But I am going to start out pretty much the same way. Uh, all of the talking and pointing is because I made this for my students, and this um, video actually has a dialogue that goes along with it because I wanted to explain the run out. So, as we said earlier, the shot on the three is your key shot for the entire rack. If you manage to get on the three, if you're a decent player, you're probably gonna be out from here. So getting on the three ball was essential. And you can see I had the exact same draw to get on the four ball that Shane had. But because I'm going from the four to the five, I'm gonna to have to play this a little bit different. So I'm going to go off of the short rail and slide right by that eight ball to get position on the five. So I put a little inside English on that to avoid that eight ball. And now we're on the five, but we're going from the five to the six. So I'm looking at all the different options and pointing out the different options for the six ball. And the clear one is to draw it back to get on the six ball in the corner pocket. And now from here, after making the six, everything else is gonna be pretty much the same. Now I'm going to give myself a little bit more of an option here by having this angle on the seven. Of course, it's a more difficult shot, a difficult angle anyway, than Shane had, but it is going to put me on the eight ball in a way that I think will make it easier for me to get on the nine. You can see I'm pointing off of the two rails that I wanna come around to get on the nine ball. So I'm just gonna walk this seven ball down into the corner pocket and slide out to get on the eight ball and now I can use that two rail position I love so much to move in line with the nine ball. This is a good way to go because if I overplay it or underplay it, I'm still moving in line with the nine ball and I'm gonna be in pretty good shape. So that's the way I ran it. I hope you guys benefited from this video and you took something away from it. Let me know if you like this format, hit me in the comments. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And I look forward to talking to you guys down the road and punching out videos for you on a regular basis that can help your game. Have a great day. What can I say any more than desire? More than just a pretty face. So guy, you better walk away. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Only one love at the side of the fire. Someone who can handle me. I'm gonna cut your heart too deep. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. If you try to come closer, I'ma give you some closure. Before you know it, it's over. So run out.